Hi everyone! So today's video is about the Nairobi Safari Walk. We went there this past weekend and it was such an incredible experience. Um, very child friendly, it was absolutely great um, activity for Riley to do. As <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine, a normal driving safari is almost impossible with a toddler. So we were so excited about being able to still take her on a safari experience in the city that she could enjoy and interact with. Um, so the Nairobi Safari Walk is run by the Kenyan Wildlife Service and is just outside the Nairobi National Park. And essentially it's a system of boardwalks and things like that through uh, safari park um, so yes the animals are in captivity but what is amazing about how the safari walk actually works is the animals that are held in these enclosures are all or either rescues or they were orphaned really young and as a result they can't be reintegrated into the wild so they are given a chance to experience as normal a life as possible in nature we were really lucky we had an incredible guide who walked us through the park and answered all of our millions of questions and gave us incredible insight into the circumstances of the animals before they arrived at the park and <laughs> lack of socialization that the lions for instance have had they don't they aren't equipped with hunting skills because they've they've never been exposed to other lions who've accepted them that could teach them how to hunt so the park had tried to stir up that predator instinct in them of hunting by trying to use a live hare as a way to encourage them to learn how to hunt as part of their rehabilitation and the poor lions were so unsure of what to do that they spent almost the whole day running away from this hare in their enclosure trying to avoid it as far as possible so as you can imagine that nah, it's not the ideal situation for reintegration into the wild
essentially in Kenya, they're trying very hard to avoid any animals being born into captivity. So the, at the safari park, they're either keeping males and females apart as far as possible to prevent that, or in the case of, for instance, the lions, they are actually sterilized so that they can keep each other company, but don't run the risk of any cubs. And it was, it was just such a brilliant experience to actually have this insight that we had from our guide on where the different animals came from um, and how they were rescued, what kind of circumstances they were in and why they can't be rehabilitated. So there's lots of baboons that kind of travel between the Nairobi National Park, the Safari Park, the car park. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on places to go, things to do that you'd enjoy seeing us do, um, just let us know in the comments. And thank you so much for joining us on this journey. It has been an overwhelming few weeks as we've started properly settling down and moving and all of that. So our little breaks into these little adventures are very welcome and it's a great way for us to connect as a family with now longer working hours, etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like it and subscribe if you want to see some more. And I hope you guys all have a really wonderful week.